what is uh, Microsoft Azure? Azure is a, a public cloud computing platform with so, solutions including infrastructure as a sort of service, platform as a service, and software as a service that can be used for services such as analytics, uh, virtual computing, storage, networking, and much more. So Azure. Azure has data centers are highly secure and keep your data safe from uh, natural disasters with multiple storage options. Data can be secured at multiple data centers as well. And also the advantage of uh, Azure is like ability to scale resources up and down, meaning you only pay for what you're using. So if you have a, a sudden influx of uh, business, we can quickly scale your servers and other Azure services to handle the increase in workload. Also, Azure allows for easy accessibility, which means you can access your data on the cloud anytime, any location. So that's a pretty much brief on what is uh, Microsoft Azure. So moving on to the next slide uh, is uh, the changing in scenarios uh, from servers to cloud. As you can see, the on-premise deployment of servers is depleting day by day as per survey. Almost 60% of small and medium businesses in US are already migrated to Azure cloud in 2019. Also, it is forecasted that more than 80% of the global SMBs will double the productivity via Azure services. Azure reduces the cost of infrastructure. In the past, like a uh, physical service needed to be kept in a climate control room with uh, a dedicated IT staff to maintain, update, and rebuild when necessary. So Azure eliminates the need of physical infrastructure and all the challenges and expenses that go along with it. So normally your uh, system administrator would spend hours planning, installing, configuring virtual machines. So with Azure, it works quickly. It only takes a few minutes for you to spin up a, a, an Azure services. So this is a high time for all of our customers or clients to move to the cloud with the current trend, which is cloud only mod. So that being said, let us see a few uh, of uh, Azure services. Like when I say Azure services, it's the backup, one of the backup uh, feature what Azure has got is uh, uh, backing up all your data from your on-premise on environment to Azure Cloud. So what is Azure Backup? Azure Backup can be used to backing up all your on-premise data in cloud. Data is stored in encrypted mode, which is really important. The backup agent, which is installed on the computer, first encrypts the data and then sends it over to network to the storage space in Azure. So what are the uh, backups which we use traditionally? Like, you know, the, to uh, back then, uh, to back up your data on premise, you need to rely on third party service providers like software, storage like NAS, external drives, which incur high cost for maintaining recovery and upgradation. So with Azure Backup uh, is the way to go to overcome these hardware sprawls. A few, a few advantages of uh, getting the Azure Backup is uh, the automatic storage management. So with this, it actually allocates and manages backup storage and it uses a, a pay as you go model. So you only pay for what you use. And as I mentioned before, unlimited scaling. Azure Backup does not limit the amount of uh, inbound or the outbound data you transfer. The data is backed up and has high availability with no maintenance or monitoring overhead. You also get unlimited data transfer. And the and the beauty of the Azure Backup is like it gives you multiple storage options, like uh, Azure, uh, which keeps you your data high, highly available. Like it, it has popularly uh, has two couple of storages, which is the locally redundant storage, which replicates your data three times. It creates three copies of your data across three data centers in the same region. On the other hand, we have uh, Microsoft Azure has the geo redundant storage, which replicates your data to a secondary region to higher level of durability for your data, even if there is a regional outage. And uh, Microsoft Azure also has some uh, one of the feature, which is the application consistent backup. So which ensures that the backed up data is transactionally consistent and the application will boost up post virtual machine restore. And uh, finally, the long term retention. So many applications have uh, regulatory compliance or 
other uh, uh, other uh, services which you need accidentally or inter, inter, uh, intentionally deleting the data. So with with the long term retention policies, you can safeguard your data for as, as long as 10 years. And finally, with the Azure backup, you're 100 percent safeguarding your data on the cloud. Anything can happen to your server, I mean, maybe accidentally or intentionally, maybe some uh, human errors as well. So with Azure backup, you don't need any additional licenses from any third party service providers or maybe any other hardware on site. And it's really important for you to have a backup offline as well. So moving on to the next slide, which we got to talk about is the Azure disaster recovery services. Azure uh, site recovery uh, services is a disaster recovery platform that can be set up on cloud and uh, hybrid cloud architectures. So Azure recovery uh, services makes it possible for Azure virtual machines, Hyper-V and physical on-premise services and VMware to fail over to and successfully fail back once the disaster has been resolved. So you can implement the Azure site recovery for virtual machines on the server. You will store a copy of all the image on the Microsoft data center. If the server goes down, Azure can spin up the images in 10 minutes. So it's it just it's by spending just $25 you can safeguard from any disaster and uh, safe, safeguard your data as well. By by also by also deploying the Azure site recovery, it reduces the infrastructure cost and uh, which is simple to deploy and to manage as well using the Azure portal with minimized downtime with dependable recovery as well. So that's about the uh, Azure site recovery. Moving on to the next slide, which is the Azure virtual machines. So what is Azure virtual machine? It's one of the several types of on-demand scalable, scalable computing resources that are Microsoft Azure offers. You pay for extra VMs when you need them and you shut them down when you don't. So that's a kind of a, a start and stop feature which uh, Microsoft provides for its customers. For example, at the end of the day or maybe at the end of the week, if you want to turn off the virtual machines on the cloud, you can do so. You can schedule that as well. Automatic scheduling is also an option to that. So by this, you will be saving uh, quite a few uh, dollars of your money on hosting your virtual machines on the cloud. So back then, virtual machines, how was the traditional VMs, the virtual machines were set up on-premise servers, which were using like Hyper-V and VMware, which needs constant monitoring to properly allocate the resources like processing cores, RAM, storage, and uh, the balance of workload accordingly. So with the modern virtual machine, which is the Microsoft Azure, which provide on-demand and scalable computing resources, it gives you agility and scale, a physical resource uh, which needs to be procured, assembled and installed is now just a piece of software which you can configure and run it on the cloud in just minutes. This rapid deployment ability gives us the, gives us the agility you need uh, when called on by business to respond and execute on IT infrastructure requirements. So enhanced performance. See, the ability to clone and spin up multiple instances of the same virtual machines allows us to scale services and applications rapidly, efficiently, and very cost effectively. That's, that's what Azure is, like you only pay what you use and it's easy to manage and control on the Azure platform on the portal as well. See, the other advantage of hosting on, a, on Microsoft Azure or your, the virtual machines is uh, exploring the hybrid version of it. So Microsoft has a unique offering in Azure which gives you the added ability to store and create a hybrid cloud environment by seamlessly running a private cloud on your on-premise network and integrating this with the Azure public platform. And lastly, the, the experience of uh, open source with options. When I say open source, I mean, you have the choices that helps you maximize your existing investments, get support on infrastructure as a service, like you can use other uh, developing uh, features like the Java, the PHP web application tools. 
You can develop and test your Linux as well and open source components on Azure. You bring the tools you love and skills you already have and run virtually any application using the data source with your operating system on your device. So that's what the Azure virtual machine is. And uh, it gives you uh, uh, the, the, the power of cloud and uh, don't have to worry about any physical hardware and additional licensing. It just works on uh, the Azure portal. It just gives you that simple access to which gives you the simple access to manage and keep it going. So moving on the next slide is the Azure security. So it has always been a challenge to implement and provide different layer of uh, security at individual network level. I mean, using the security before the cloud services, the using your firewalls was really difficult for uh, everyone to provide individual uh, network levels on the, the individual securities. So this has always been a costly affair and time consuming as well. So why not rely on a vendor like Microsoft who's already spending billions of dollars every year for enhancement of security on its cloud services, which reduces cost and complexity with a highly secure cloud foundation managed by Microsoft. Use multi-layered built-in security controls and unique threat intelligence from Azure to help identity and protection against rapidly evolving threats. So you can also protect your workloads quickly with built-in controls and services in Azure across identity, data, networking, and apps. Get continuous protection with deeper insights on Azure Security Center as well. So with Azure Security, you also have something called as the behavioral analytics. is a technique that analyzes and compares data to a collection of known patterns. Azure Security Center can use behavioral analytics to identify compromised resources based on analysis of virtual machine logs, virtual network log, device logs, fabric logs, and other sources. So using Azure to take advantage of SaaS applications also reduces the cost of infrastructure, maintenance, and management of your IT environments. So, let us see what uh, how uh, Azure and its services help the uh, manufacturing industry, like the connected field service. So connected field service for Azure IoT Central. The, these are the opportunities lies within the Microsoft. So connected field service for Internet Over Things Central provides a, a direct integrations of Dynamic 365 field service with the Microsoft Azure IoT, a fully managed IoT software as a, a solution. What are the key benefits of connected field service? Reduce downtime by connecting to IoT devices to diagnose problem before customers are aware of an issue. Address issues faster by remotely monitoring devices and keeping customers in the loop. Also, device telemetry and service maintenance data helps in making make intelligent decision around dispatching technicians with the right expertise, availability, and proximity to the job. So Dynamic 365 Field Services. So that Dynamic 365 Field Services is a part of Microsoft uh, Dynamic 365 Customer Engagement Solution, which uh, provides business applications, helps like organization deliver on-site service to customer locations. Uh, the applications uh, combine workflows automations, scheduling algorithms, and mobility to set mobile workers up for success when they're on site with customers fixing issues. The field service application enables to improve first time fixed rates, complete more service calls per technician per week, manage follow up work and take advantage of upsell and cross sell opportunities, reduce travel time, mileage, and vehicle wear and tear, organize the track resolution of customer issues. Also schedule on-site visits when it's convenient for the customers as well. So with these Dynamic 365 uh, field service applications, uh, which it, it will help you in terms of like manufacturing sector of business moving along with Azure IoT as well. 
so that's about the uh, uh, manufacturing insights on uh, this thing, the intelligent supply as well. So moving on to the next slide is uh, build an intelligent supply chain using the Azure AI. In an era where uh, digital technology is changing almost every aspect about how people live, work, play and learn, we believe it's important to think carefully about the complex questions that raises artificial intelligence. Through Microsoft Future Computer Series, uh, we hope to encourage a, a broad set of conversation about how AI can empower people in a trusted and respectful environment that benefits everyone, which will maximize uh, manufacturing efficiencies, which you can leverage using the Microsoft tools. And finally, the power of machine learning. So basically, machine learning delivers the predictive intelligence uh, businesses needs to stay competitive. Still, many companies struggle to adopt machine learning when data scientists and data engineers face tedious tasks to slow training on complex deployments. So Azure Machine Learning removes those barriers, accelerating the machine learning life cycle from end to end. As an open platform with an automated machine learning and built-in DevOps, you can unlock insights anywhere and easily scale from cloud to edge. So that's uh, that's it about the uh, Microsoft uh, uh, Azure verticals and Microsoft other capabilities like Dynamic 365, the Azure AIoT, and the Microsoft Teams. So I just wanted to give you a brief on what Microsoft 365 provides. With the, with the recent pandemic situation, most of the employees are working remotely, which is a major concern to data security. In line with Azure, which has all the inbuilt security features, we strongly suggest recommend Microsoft 365 plans, which provide the advanced security with your Office 365 applications. So what is Microsoft 365? Uh, Microsoft 365 is a productive cloud that brings together the best in class office apps with powerful cloud services, device management and advanced security to transform the way you work. As you can see, what Microsoft 365 does is it gives you secure identity, secure devices, secure apps, secure email, secure documents. So that means everything is secure. You don't have to feel insecure about any of the features you use for your emails, your, your document storage on the cloud, your devices which you use apart from your offers on the go, it could be your mobile devices as well. So moving on, what do you get with Microsoft 365 Business? So Microsoft 365 Business comes with the latest version of Office applications, the web and the mobile version of application. It comes with the email and calendaring. It comes with the data storage on the cloud, which could be the OneDrive for Business, SharePoint Online, and most importantly, the Microsoft Teams. So you can host online meetings and video calls on the cloud, chat with your team members on from your desktop or maybe on the go as well. So you can you can have uh, the your team members chats, meeting files and apps, so you can easily connect and collaborate from one place. You can also use Microsoft Teams integrated phone solution with the state of art features uh, whether you can call from a phone, PC, or mobile device as well. It also comes with the security and compliance like the ATP, the advanced threat protection, safeguarding all your organization against malicious threat uh, posted by uh, email messages, links. Also the access management controls as well, like who and when someone has access to your business information with security groups and custom permissions. You also get something known as the Microsoft Intune, which is actually the mobile device management and the mobile access management. So you will be able to monitor your employees' uh, 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 access control on, on, on their personal devices as well. So the beauty with Microsoft Intune is the selective vibe, uh, which is a feature which can be used to delete uh, any, any of the professional information, professional data from your employees, personal devices could be 
the laptop or maybe uh, a mobile device as well. So for example, if your employee leaves your organization, you can use selective vibe to just delete all the professional data from their personal devices, keeping intact the personal data on their personal devices. Also, you get the safest windows ever. When I say safest windows, it, it's the Windows 10 Pro. You get to have a copy to upgrade to Windows 10 Pro, and also you get the Windows Defender with it along with it as well. And uh, you get the enforced malware protections uh, help keep the Windows 10 devices safe from viruses, spyware, and other malicious software with Windows Defender, as I mentioned. It also comes with the encryption capability to enable uh, sensitive information like your credit card information, your bank information, you can encrypt and make sure it does not get forwarded or gets downloaded from any of the end users devices. And finally, the dependability and the support like, you know, Microsoft has this 99.9 .9 uptime as well as uh, the phone and the email support, which is 24 by seven. So that's all uh, in a nutshell about what you get with Microsoft 365 business. So CSC has a, a security baseline offering, which uh, gives you uh, setting up all the uh, Microsoft security feature, which is included with the Microsoft 365 plans. So what are the features? Like as I mentioned, the advanced protection, which safeguards all your emails and malicious links and unsafe attachments, the mobile device uh, management, you can manage all the mobile devices of your employees and the computers as well. Configure AIP based policies. AIP is the Azure information protection, which is again, which is falls under the encryption and BitLocker for your Windows uh, computer, like uh, as well as the Mac as well. You can enable the BitLocker to encrypt all your devices as well. And the compliance policies, we can assist you in setting up all the compliance policies as per your company needs and standards are and mobile device, mobile access management should make sure that who, which user in your organization get to what kind of access you would need in terms of downloading information, forwarding information, as well as using it on their personal devices as well. And finally, the multi-factor authentication, which is uh, really a plus uh, at this time, like you know, to safeguard all your emails, your data on the cloud, it's, it's just not your Office 365 credentials you will need another way to authenticate your credentials and get access to your Office 365 accounts and the applications. So that's about the plan. And the next slide gives you what's the Microsoft evolution to the cloud services. As you can see, it's all cloud only. I mean, Microsoft moved from the on-premise exchange to exchange online. It give, and uh, you can actually replace your existing phone system with the Microsoft Teams, which is again a cloud version of it business voice through cloud services is on the glow. You can even set it up as a soft phone. You can even configure that as an hard phone as well. And uh, transferring files to the cloud, which means the OneDrive business and SharePoint online. You, you store all your personal data on OneDrive and you can collaborate along with your team on SharePoint online. So this gives you access to your document anywhere from any part of the world. And transferring enterprises to the cloud, which is going to uh, like moving all your on-premise environment to the cloud. I mean, by this way, you will have one service provider which falls under one umbrella for all your services you would need. Could be your emails, your office applications, your data storage in the cloud, your, your phone service. And with this, you, you also get the collaboration between all these applications like Skype, I'm sorry, the, the Teams, the SharePoint, and the exchange online and many other features which comes along with the Microsoft 365 business. So the trend is to like move on to the cloud and cloud only replacing all your uh, on-premise environment. Like it could be your file server as well, which we can be replaced to SharePoint online. So that gives you the added advantage to co collaborate with all the other applications on the cloud as well. So what, what, what do you purchase Microsoft 365, where you want to purchase Microsoft 365. I'm here to give you a business value, a scenario here. So for example, your average uh, cost for your employee is $5,000 a month, which includes healthcare, salary, and other expenses and the tags. 
you can actually secure and protect your data at just 0.4% of your employee cost. Microsoft 365 Business is just like $20 per user per month. And by this, you will be able to get all the, app, all the applications in one umbrella and one service provider, which is really important. You don't have to like pay your, for any other service provided in terms of your uh, Microsoft uh, Teams, like phone calling system, or maybe uh, your hardware as well as other licensing, which comes along with the on-premise environment. So that's the beauty and moreover, it's peace of mind. Your data is safe on the cloud with Microsoft. As I mentioned, Microsoft spends more than a billion every year to safeguard the data on the cloud. So that's the business value. And uh, please feel to reach out to us for any consultations on any of the features of Microsoft 365. And also, if you feel like you want to have a demo, we can schedule it for you. And that's being said,